Wi-Fi not connecting on a Hisense TV can turn a relaxing evening into a frustrating one. Whether the TV keeps dropping the signal, refuses to detect your network, or won't connect at all, it's a problem that needs fixing fast. In this video, I will show you every possible solution, from quick checks to deeper settings, so you can get your TV back online. If you find this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more tech tips. If your Hisense TV won't connect to Wi-Fi, the first thing you should do is check if the problem is with the TV or the network itself. Try connecting another device, like your phone or laptop, to the same Wi-Fi. If those devices connect without any problem, then the issue is likely with the TV. Also, take a look at your Wi-Fi router and make sure it's on and working. If the lights on the router are off or blinking strangely, that could mean there's a network issue. Once you know the network is working, go ahead and restart both your TV and your router. To restart the TV, turn it off and unplug it from the wall. Wait about one to two minutes, then plug it back in and turn it on. For the router, turn it off completely, wait about 30 seconds, and then switch it back on. Give it a minute or two to fully restart before testing the connection again. Next, double check the Wi-Fi password you're entering on the TV. It's easy to make a mistake here, especially with long or complex passwords. Make sure you're entering the password exactly as it's set on your router, paying attention to uppercase and lowercase letters. If you're still having trouble, try forgetting the Wi-Fi network on your Hisense TV and then reconnecting to it. Go to the network settings on the TV, select your current Wi-Fi network, and choose the option to forget it. After that, search for the network again and enter the password to reconnect. This can clear up connection problems caused by saved network errors. You can also adjust the IP and DNS settings. Go into the advanced network settings on your TV and see whether it's set to DHCP or manual. If it's on DHCP, switch it to manual. If it's already on manual, try switching it back to DHCP. If you use manual settings, enter a public DNS like 8.8.8.8 which can sometimes improve the connection. Make sure your TV's date and time are correct as well. If the date and time don't match your local time or the time on your router, the TV may have trouble connecting. Go to the system settings and set the date and time to be automatically provided by the network or manually adjust them to the correct values. Another important step is checking if your TV has any pending software updates. Go to settings, then to support and find the system update option. Click on it to see if there's a new update available. If there is, install it. Updates can fix bugs and often improve Wi-Fi performance. If none of these steps have worked so far, try resetting the network settings on your TV. This will remove all the saved networks and reset any network-related configurations. Go to the network settings and choose the option to reset network settings. After it resets, reconnect to your Wi-Fi network. As a last resort, you can factory reset your TV. Go to Settings, then Support, and select Reset to Factory Default. Keep in mind this will erase all of your apps, accounts, and settings, so only do this if nothing else has worked. After the reset, you'll need to set up the TV again from the beginning. If Wi-Fi still doesn't work, there are two alternative things you can try. First, you can use an Ethernet cable to connect your TV directly to the router. This gives a more stable connection and can be useful if you're okay with using a wired setup. Second, try using your phone to create a mobile hotspot. Connect your TV to the hotspot to see if it connects successfully. If it does, the issue might be with your home network and not the TV itself. And that's it. I hope this step-by-step -step guide helps you get your Hisense TV connected to Wi-Fi without any more frustration. If one of these methods worked for you, or if you're still facing issues, drop a comment below. I'd be glad to hear how it went or help you out further. 